Okay, this is part two of the wiring series. Today we're going to get power to the switch panel and then from there we're going to run all the power to the power pole micro anchor, the Burley Pro Orb, the Lorentz Elite 9 Ti, and we're going to get the lights mounted in the cockpit and powered up. Uh, stay tuned. Okay, I seem to solve the dilemma of the hatch bucket popping in and out with the uh, switch panel installed. I'll show you a quick little modification that I did for it. As you can see, she pops out now. So what I did is sectioned out a uh, sort of a triangle section here and cut that out both sides, cut the bottom. I will show you a quick picture of the uh, the layout. Once I got those sections uh, cut out, I managed to uh, do a little plastic weld. A little sloppy, but uh, we'll, we'll do for now. I gotta invest in uh, a little plastic weld uh, iron there. So that seems to be working fine. The bucket drops in and out easily. Switch panel from the back, all mounted in, ready to go. Put a voltmeter in, uh, pulled out the socket, uh, the plain socket that was there, and switched it for a voltmeter. Give me some idea of where I stand out there with power. And then, of course, the uh, dual USB port. Four switches. Like I said, one will be for the Lorentz unit, uh, the other will be for the Burley Pro Orb, uh, next one will be for the cockpit lighting, and then the last one will be for the power pole micro anchor. Uh, as I said in the previous video, I do have the battery pack for the power pole, but um, I like to have a backup uh, power source just in case. Give you a quick demo on how it uh, drops in. I've just got this temporary cord in here to help me get it out all the time. So the button just drops in. There we go. It's in there nicely. Pops in and out without any problem. My initial plan was to go with uh, these LED lights for underneath the mounting boards for the cockpit lighting. Uh, I was at Princess Auto yesterday and I ran across these. Um, they were on sale for only 13 bucks. They're 18 inches long and I can cut them in half and they have uh, the pre-wired each end. So once I cut them in half they're, they're long enough to uh, fit underneath the mounting boards. Uh, come with an adhesive already and they've got a couple of brackets that you can screw it down with. Uh, I tested out the uh, how bright they were and uh, they're gonna provide ample lighting out there in those dark nights or early mornings. So at 13 bucks I can do both sides. Seemed like a bargain to me and uh, that's what I'm gonna go with. I'm going to convert the standard through haul wiring adapter for the transducer over to the Hobie three way. I'm doing this for two reasons. One, if you've ever installed uh, a transducer in the Hobies before, a uh, Hobie PA14 that is, uh, you'll know that you need long skinny arms to reach back here and to undo the uh, nut on the back. Um, the second reason is uh, at some point in time, uh, hopefully uh, in the next couple months, 
I'm going to be uh, testing out the new Lorentz carbons with uh, 3D structure scan. The transducer uh, cable that comes through uh, has a large uh, splitter on it and it won't fit through this standard hole. I've already checked it out and it does fit through the size of the uh, three-way so that'll help with the ins install of that later down the road and uh, like I said I'm getting the, the nut back off of here I have to generally take this um, access unscrew it all in order to get my arm all the way through to the my arm's long enough but unfortunately once it gets down to my shoulder I, uh, I can't get it any further so I have to take this off I picked up a six pin wiring connector kit uh, to make it easy to take the bucket in and out and just disconnect uh, the power or the switch panel um, so I can get it out of the way make it nice and easy to split it all right to start off with we're going to build the harness uh, to, to attach to the switch panel again this is a, a six pin so we've got four components that we're going to be powering up so four for that one will be for positive and one will be for negative yeah, got a few different wire colored wires and that's just to help keep things organized um, I'll add some labels to them too just to make things a little easier but uh, keeping them color coordinated uh, should help out so we'll grab our four colors that we want to use Snip off enough length. First, we'll keep red as our power positive. are negative. Alright, so that's that inbuilt. Do. Let's put our male connectors on. Or female connectors on. Sorry. Alright, so I thought I'd spare you the boredom of watching me cut and solder wires. But here's the uh, harness built. Um, you use different colored wires uh, just to keep things organized and be able to trace things back easier. So, plugs all built for this end. Of course, we've got our power wire coming in, or ground wire tied in, and then we'll have uh, one for the Laurent unit, one for the Burley Pro Orb, one for the cockpit lighting, and then we'll have one for the power to the power pole. So I'm just going to wrap these up in some shielding, keep it organized and clean. There we go. The bucket's all ready. So the next we got to build the connector from the battery. We'll run it all the way up to the switches. So 
So in order to run our power cord for our power pole micro anchor all the way to the back here and to uh, get power to the Burley Pro Orb we need to use the Hobie uh, through haul three way wiring kit. Best location I found is right here at the back. So we're just going to drill out the hole and then uh, install the kit and uh, run our wiring back here. So we're just going to simply get our location. Spot. I have to use a center punch to uh, get things started so my drill doesn't wander all over the place. Do a little test fit. It'll work perfect. So, in order to keep everything tidy, I'm just going to tape up my positive and negative for the uh, Burley Pro Orb um, to the uh, power pole uh, power cord. I'll just tape it up every every few inches, and then I can fish it through through the hole and back to uh, the switch panel. Now we'll move on to the cockpit lighting. We're going to have to remove the uh, mounting boards in order to uh, get the lights mounted on them and, and to uh, drill a couple holes on, or one hole on each side to fish our wire through. Um, the way I do it is that I drill a little hole just enough to get the uh, wire through and into the hull and then I seal that up with marine goop just to be on the safe side. It's not not like water's really going to get there anyways, but uh, better safe than sorry. One recommendation is before you remove the mounting boards, uh, mark the outline underneath so you know um, what type, what area you have to work with to mount the lights. Now it's simple as uh, four screws on each mounting board, lift the uh, rail up a little bit and uh, pull the boards off. Alright, so I got my layout lines, what I have access to anyways for the lights, and uh, measure things up, see how much room I've got, um, I was able to uh, cut them in half, and actually had three little uh, LED diodes left over, so I'll show you what I'm going to do with those later. But, uh, yep, yeah, so I'll just get it taped down. Uh, it comes with these little 
brackets as well. I'm going to use those too. I'm never overly confident in the uh, tape that comes with any of this stuff, especially on, on this stuff. So we'll get that done. Okay, got the LED strips mounted, fastened down, uh, cut to length. I used uh, brown as my positive uh, wires because on the switch panel that's what I used uh, there so that way I can trace things back and keep things organized so now we gotta feed them into to this end get the ends made done and chase the rest of the wires back into the plug now all we have to do is get our boards back in position and uh, figure out where we're going to chase the wire through. We've got to drill a little hole on each side to fish the wires through. So we'll try and figure that out. Probably the easiest spot is going to be up in these corners here. And drill the hole big enough to uh, get our wires through. Once we get them pulled through, the boards and where we want them, the boards mounted down, we can uh, just add a little marine goop to uh, seal it up. Uh, not that water will ever really get in there, anyways, but it's always nice to keep things sealed. Alright, we'll do a quick little test before we uh, go any further, make sure uh, the lights are working. So I just put the positives together and the negatives. And there we go. We have light. The uh, last power wire that we uh, need to run is to the Lorentz Elite 9 Ti. It's pretty simple, hope you already gives us the um, three-way through or the through hall three-way wiring kit right here uh, I like to keep my Lorenz unit mounted on the uh, H rail off to my left there's another um, access on the right side if you prefer using it on the right but I've always set it up on the left that's the way I like it Alright, so I got all my wires run back uh, to the hatch. Now all I gotta do is uh, tie all my negatives together, get them uh, soldered up and put together, and then uh, get everything plugged into the uh, plug here. I'll spare you that part and just get through it. The wiring harness is complete, all bundled up, tidied up as best as I could. Like I said, now I can pull the bucket out. Uh, if I need to get it right out of the way, I can uh, unclamp or uh, undo it. 
split it apart and then have that out of the way. If not, then I'll just get her just pop her down inside. You can uh, see the switch. That's for the wrench unit. That one's for the Burley Pro 360 light. I've got I mount that on my H crate back, and then of course two lines coming out. One for the, the uh, Burley Pro orb, and then the other for the Power Pro micro anchor. Another switch is for the cockpit lighting. Seems to do a nice job of lighting things up. Yeah, I got that pulled out right now. As you can see, I've got the hatch cover off. It's out being uh, wrapped right now. In order to get at the uh, one nut to get the uh, bungee undone, I had to uh, undo the rod tubes and pull them back out of the way. Uh, sorry, the last switch there will be for the power pole micro anchor. Here's the batteries, all set up. There's the uh, splitter right there, so I can pull it apart and then just throw the battery charger onto the other end and charge it charge both batteries actually at the same time while they're still in the kayak when I get it back home. Uh, the one thing that I didn't get to that I alluded to earlier is those uh, three remaining LED diodes that I had left over from the uh, the strips. Well here they are. So I just uh, soldered some wires to them and the plan will be is I'm going to put them right inside the bucket here so that uh, when I flip the light on for the cockpit lights I'll uh, have a little light in the bucket as well so I figured I might as well make use of them so I'll just uh, drill a little hole in the bucket there and feed it out back around to the uh, switch panel. Okay, that should give you some indication of how much light this puts out. Alright guys, that'll wrap up the wiring series. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section and uh, I'll do my best to get back to you as quick as I can. As always, if you like the video, please subscribe.